All right, let us start now for the higher order. This one here. Not first order, higher order. We will study in this chapter, chapter 3 and chapter 4, the higher order differential equations. I mean differential equation with order 2, differential equation with order uh, 3, with order 4, 5, and so on. Before we studying these types of differential equations, we will study in this section, of course, we will have different equations, a reduction formula, homogeneous, and determined coefficient method variation parameters Cauchy equation and we will have also linear model but in this chapter we will study some concepts theorems and uh, some important notions that we are going to be used it here in this chapter inshallah right let us start this is just here no solution just we will study concepts and theorems which is of course, very important for the rest of the chapter. Elam. We will consider the linear differential equation, but this is linear with nth order. Linear with nth order, if you remember the linear differential equation, when we say that it is linear, that means it should be all the coefficients x, a n minus 1, x, and so on. All of them is a constant or a function with respect to the same variable x. And the power of any derivative, the power of any derivative is included in y, it should be equal 1. Okay? Fine. In the end, we will see the existence of uniqueness solution on this type of differential equation. But then show an here when such kind of differential equation the second order or more will have distant solution. A theorem says that if we have a n of x, I mean the coefficients of my original differential equation, a n minus one of x a2 of x, a1 of x, a0, until all of them, all the coefficient functions here, x be continuous on an interval i. And the coefficient of the highest not equal 0 for every x in this interval i. I mean here a n x is not equal zero for all x belongs to interval i. Now, Shubhukir, if x naught is any point in this interval, then there exists a unique solution y x in the interval i to the initial value problem. I mean, we have two conditions to guarantee there is a solution or a unique solution inside of, uh, uh, some specific intervals. How? It should be all the coefficient functions and the function gx itself also same interval i and the coefficient of the highest derivative is not equal zero for any x in this interval. Now, have a look at the following initial value problem. This is an initial value problem. Here, the number one, it is which is x naught in my interval. Elan, L a three, 
this is the third order. L a three x is equal to three. L a two x is equal to five. L a one of x is equal to minus one. While a naught of x is equal to seven, will function g x is equal also zero. All of these functions, all of them, let us to check the conditions. All of the functions are continuous. on the integral from minus infinity to infinity. Because all of them are constant. The second condition, in A3x, which is equal to 3, which is cannot be equal to 0, also this is for all x inside the integral minus infinity to infinity. So what I can say that, so the initial value problem has a unique solution and at x naught is equal one. Also one is belongs to the interval from minus infinity to infinity. Mm -hmm. So this initiation has a solution, unique solution inside this interval. Abkhalina, let us to ask the question in another way. Find an interval for which the following initial value problem has a solution, unique solution. I need to find out the interval where this function is. And first of all, x naught here is equal to zero. Eight, this is a second order. That means a to x is equal x squared minus four. One of x is equal to zero. And a naught of x is equal to three. And gx is equal to eight. And all of these functions are continuous on the integral from minus infinity to infinity, which is the first condition here. So we have to see where a r of x is not equal, on which interval? This is the most important thing I needed. A 2x is equal x squared minus 4. This is become 0 when x is equal positive negative 2. And we satisfy those two conditions, thus, The interval is minus two to two. It is from minus two to two. So this is the solution because at this interval, since for all x belong to the interval minus two to two, we have a to x is not equal to zero. But why I choose, have a look here. Why I choose two and this is two. Where is the location of x naught? Because contains the x naught 
and x naught, which is equal zero, belong to minus two to two. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Mm -hmm. Any question here? Any question here? طيب خلينا نشوف الـ homogeneous equation. What's the meaning of homogeneous equation? The linear nth order written in the form a n of x nth order of y plus and so on to be equal zero. This is said to be homogeneous. But if this g x is not equal this is called a non-homogeneous. Yes, if the function gx is equal to zero, I mean on the right-hand side. But if gx is not equal to zero, then this is called non-homogeneous differential equation. Okay. Of course, we will assume all the time in this chapter that all the coefficient functions are uh, the function g x continuous at i containing x naught and a n of x is not equal to zero for in that interval i. Type. Let's see the differential operator. What's the meaning differential operator here? In calculus, differentiation is uh, usually denoted by the capital letter D. Differentiation. That is, dy by dx, it means d capital of y, it, which means implicitly the derivative of y with respect to x. And the capital D here is called the differential operator. Which transform the differential equation into another function. Hello, for example, d by dx for dy by dx, it is d square, which is d of dy, which is equal d square also. And as gen in general, the order of y n and y d by dx to the n to the power n of y, where y here represent, of course, a differentiable function with respect to x. Type. Right. And polynomials, which is given in this one, in this way, also is called differential operator. It's called differential operator. Type. Right. And in general, We define L, if we define L, the operator L to be the whole differential equation, this is called linear because we replace the derivatives by capital D. Thus, in case it is non-homogeneous, as L of Y is equal G of X. خلينا نشوف الآن السوبر بوزيشن برنسيبل. What do you mean by this? This? I should have three solutions. A linear equation with fourth order, it means I have to four different solutions second order it means i have two 
two solutions. Now, if I have the solution until yk are solutions of the homogeneous nth order differential equation, which is here homogeneous the differential equation, then the linear combination, all the solutions also represent a solution. I mean, C1 times the solution 1, y1, plus C2 times y2, plus C3 times, arrive to Cn times yn, or Ck times yk. I mean, a linear combination of the solutions or uh, R also is another solution. A linear combination of the, uh, the linear, linear equation, it is linear combination of the solutions also is another solution. Type. If y of x is a solution to the homogeneous position, then I mean, if I have one solution only, then c times this y of x also represents a solution. Type. We have all the time it is the zero solution. I mean, if y is equal to 0, which is called the trivial solution. We will look in this chapter for non-trivial solution. We will look this chapter on a non-trivial solution. I think maybe when you studied linear algebra, you studied what's the meaning of linear dependent and linear independent linearly dependent and linearly independent what do you mean by linearly dependent and linearly independent the functions from f1 until fn is said to be linearly dependent on an in specific interval i, if there exists a constant c1 until cn, not all zeros. c1 times f1 plus c2 times f2 plus c3 times f3 until you arrive to cn times f of f, f and sub x is equal to zero. I mean here, those kind of functions, they will be called linearly dependent if there is a constant satisfying this equation, but not all of them are zero. It could be, I mean, some of these constants, it could be zero. Type. If I have a set of functions which is not linearly dependent, then it is called linearly independent. And how we will determine the linearly dependent or independent? We will use their own determinant to determine your functions are dependent or independent. Use the Ronskian de determinant. What's the meaning Ronskian determinant? A function is from f1 to fn possess at least n minus 1 derivative. The determinant of Ronesky and it means the first line, it should be the function with derivative 0. I mean all the functions without derivatives. A second line is derivative of the, fair, of, of the first line. A third line, it is the derivative of the second line until you arrive to n minus 1 derivative, to n minus 1 derivative. طيب, الآن, الآن. How I will use the Ronskian determinant? كيف نستخدم Ronskian determinant? 
I will use the Linuskian determinant to check is it my solutions for the nth order differential equation linearly dependent or non or independent. If the Ronisian is not equal to zero for any value x in the interval, then it becomes linearly independent. If the Ronisian for my solutions cannot be equal to zero for any specific interval i, that means my solutions are linearly independent. Mustaqillat khatiya. Mm -hmm. طيب الان اه وين وقفنا احنا عند الفاندمنتال الفاندمنتال الست واي 1 الى y n of n linearly independent solution of that homogeneous equation is said to be fundamental set of solution on the interval. I mean, if, they, if my solutions are linearly independent for the homogeneous equation, then those solutions will be denoted by our fundamental set of solutions. Elan, the existence of fundamental set. A theorem says that there is the existence of fundamental set of solution for a homogeneous equation. I mean, there is a solution for any differential equation which is homogeneous. There is a solution. I mean, a set, I mean here the set of solution. Sets. I mean that the set of solutions for any nth order homogeneous question cannot be an empty set. So there is a solution. In general, we will go now to define what's the meaning general solution. A general solution that if I have y1, y2, y, y, n, r, fundamental set of solution for a homogeneous, then we will have the general solution, which is called y complementary solution. It is c1 times c2 times y2 plus c3 times y3 to c n y n. Of course, the constant C1, C2 until Cn are arbitrary constants. So a general solution, just a linear combination for the solutions, all solutions of Type. We'll finish this one and stop here, inshallah ta'ala. A function yp, yp, Particular, which is my solution of any differential equation. This is called particular solution. This is called particular. I mean, if you substitute yp instead of each y here or all these derivatives, so the left hand side becomes equal to the right hand side, so that becomes our called particular solution. The general solution for non-homogeneous differential equation, if the, if the differential equation is non-homogeneous, then we will have a particular solution and a homogeneous solution. So, a general solution for non-homogeneous, I have to solve it as a homogeneous first to find out the homogeneous solution, then solve it as non-homogeneous 
to get the y particular solution this is for non homogeneous equation but those the other solutions are from c1 y1 until cn yn the, those are solutions of homogeneous differential equation homogeneous i mean for the non homogeneous differential equation i have to solve two times one time to solve it as a homogeneous to get those solutions c1 y1 plus c2 y2 plus c3 y3 until c n y n and again to solve it as non-homogeneous to get the particular solution so general solution it will be a homogeneous uh, a solution of homogeneous plus the, uh, the solution of non-homogeneous it's not an example just a definition which is the complementary the function yc is equal c1 y1 until plus c2 y2 until you arrive to c n y n is called complementary function for the non-homogeneous equation for the non-homogeneous because my option is it's, I mean, the general solution, it should be the, contains the Y particular. But the com this is called complementary solution, which is the solution of homogeneous equation. Of course, all of these definitions and concepts, we will discuss them later on. We will discuss them later on when we solve second or the higher order differential equation. In general, a solution of genius Y, it is called YP plus YC, a complementary. Hello. El YP. This is particular solution. But this solution here is solution of solution of homogeneous equation. Mm -hmm. Okay, any question up to here? Any question? Do you have any question? I think you have a quiz today which is starting from 8 o'clock, yeah? You have a quiz today, inshallah. So there is no question.